rented 10,000 square feet of office space and filled it with state-of-the-art 3D printers. Amazing. I'll tell the governor our grant money is in good hands. The governor wants a time lapse of your tablets being made to put on our website. Or an evil AI wants to keep a close eye on its baby brainwashers. Our intrusion into Wilkins' computer must have put Samaritan on alert, making it that much more difficult to do what we must. Difficult, but we'll find a way in. But first, we'll need to go shopping. Okay, Harold. Why are we here? It's breadcrumbs, Miss Shaw. My attempts to trace the emails and wire transfers provided by Tomas and Katya have yet to reveal their client's identity, but yesterday the client wired money to pay for storage at that address. Knight and Morris, the oldest and most secure storage facility in New York, housing everything from priceless heirlooms to Renaissance art. In their 95-year history, they have never been robbed. They are, simply put, a fortress. So, of course, that's where the vials are now. But to locate them precisely, we still need to know the client's name. Son of uh, Marco. Marco? Marco Yeftich? Wait, didn't you kill that guy? I've never killed anyone. We tried to spring Marco out after he got caught, but it was too risky. So either he's a really well-preserved corpse, or he escaped by faking his own death. Marco thinks we left him to rot, and this whole double cross is his revenge. Revenge or not, Yeftich is in possession of a deadly virus, and I would very much like to know what he intends to do with it. We move a bit, Nick. So that gives us less than six hours to figure out how to rob this place. We have another problem, Harold. I'm looking at an operative from the relevant side. A government agent? Are you certain? How do you know? Because I trained him. Devin Grice, Crimson Six Alpha. I know him and his partner. And now that Marco has the virus, this whole damn thing just went relevant. 